Thank you, Mike. I'm going to learn how to make flowers out of a piece of ordinary ribbon today, and then we can decorate with these flowers. This is Kathy Oligas from Dee's, who's here to show us how to do this. You've got me started, so I don't have to fumble with ribbon. That's but we right. have to use a wire edge ribbon for this. For this style, which is what we're going to do here, this rolled ribbon, we do have to have a wire edge. Now, mm -hmm. if you had a needle and thread, you could also do this style, but right. we don't want to do needle and thread, preferably. We would like to just pull the I wire up. I can sew up. buttons on, and that's about it. So. Well, it, it's not hard, but it does take a little bit. So we, it's, it, there's a wire in the edge, so I pulled one of your wires out, right, but here. what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and pull a little piece of the wire out, and I'm going to fold it back because I don't, when I go to the other side to pull my wire, I don't want to pull it all the way through. Okay. So one of your wires is folded back, oh, and it doesn't that. matter okay. which one, and one of them you're going to pull. So okay. this wire pulls very nice. So we're gathering it on the wire, yes. Okay. Just start pulling it. So you can see how much easier this would be than to sew the ribbon. All the way down to the All end? All the way down. Okay. Kind of as snug as you can pull. Yours is a little oh, heavier a little. ribbon, but I wanted to show, doesn't matter what width, it's just going to give you. So just slide your just ribbon keep down. Just sliding. Mm -hmm. Just keep sliding down. You're a bit better at this than I am. So I while you're sliding, my grip on well the wire. you slide that one down and work okay. on that one, and I'm going to show them this. And mine was a little easier because the, the wire's a little looser. So what we're going to do, once we slide that down, we're going to go to one end, mm -hmm. and we're going to pull those two ends together. That's going to be the center of our rows. Okay. And then we're just going to roll it up. That's it? Mm -hmm. We're going to roll. I'm still working on getting this right. Okay. I'm going to roll mine up, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show the back side of it, because you want to see that it's kind of a flat. I'm just rolling it right one next to the other. That's it. And then what we're going to do is take some hot glue, and I'm just going to touch some glue in there just to hold those layers together. Let that cool. Now you see I have a raw edge here, so mm -hmm. I'm going to pull the other wire out a little bit and just bring that down to where my glue is and touch it on my glue that's still a little soft. Wow. And I can add a little bit more glue on that, that if looks, I need to. I, I know you've got a lot of creative ideas for what to do with this. That would. To me, that would look really pretty on a derby hat. It would, and we've done some derby hats. What's nice about this is you can match sometimes ribbon to your outfit when you cannot match flowers. You can't find right. those bright, vibrant right. colors in flowers. You can do it in the ribbon. Very good. I'm working on it. I'm a little slow. That's but all right. I'm Isn't that pretty? There. That's sort of more of a satin. I like yeah, that one. Yeah, how neat. Very pretty. And then all I need is hot glue to make this work. And we're if really. I don't let go of it. There's another. I'm not going to do the other style. I just want to show you. There's also a different style. Uh, it's a folded instead of, let's say you have a, a grow grain that's not wired, then there's another technique you use to fold the ribbon and make a rose, and that gives you a little different look. Can you tell like the it's pointed pretty, look? Yeah. But both of these, um, because today we're just kind of showing you a little bit what to do, we do have that YouTube video linked to the website. Okay, so, so that people you can, can go, go there. And, mm -hmm. and here's just an idea of what you can do with it. You can put it on a gift. If you look down here, we've got a napkin, napkin ring. Mm -hmm. You made a napkin ring with it. And then as you come on across a little bit, you can see the derby hat with these flowers and then a, a frame that's also been made with it. And here's the derby hat that shows the flowers that she's put on there. Speaking of derby hats, mm -hmm. Kathy, you've got some derby hat workshops coming up. People can find out more on your website. We do, and it's not yeah. just, you could do this rose thing in the workshop, but you but could do anything in the workshop. You'll help people yes. create what they want to create. If they go to the website, they can check out those dates. All right, so Dee's is located on Shelbyville Road, just inside the Watterson Expressway. You see their phone number there on the screen, and you can also go to fox41.com for more information and a link to their website with a video on how to make these flowers or how to get involved in a derby hat class. And a little bit later, we're going to decorate with willows and make the house look like spring. Place today, we're using willow branches to create some pretty unique things for spring, or we've got some other ideas of what you can do. Kathy Oligas is from Dee's is going to get us started mm -hmm. with a piece of foam. We start out with this. I wanted to show you what it looks like. But we, what we want to do is we just take a knife very just easily. Whittle it down. Whittle it down. Okay. And then we're going to take a piece of um, cling, which is a very sticky clay type material. And that's what's going to be on the bottom of our our glass dish. Now, of course, you could put it in a pot like we have this one or Stick this one this over here. On uh-huh. Put that on the prongs. Okay. Now, what we're going to do with this one, you could layer like we've done paper and we've done little eggs in this one over here. But I thought well, this could be maybe a kitchen one. So maybe put a couple um, lemons in there. Go ahead and drop the mm -hmm. lemons in. Put, let's do them in the front and then we'll, okay. um, we'll do some Slide moss. Okay. Put a little bit more moss and we'll cut and a little bit. The thing lemons. is when you put this uh, florist foam in there, 
you don't have to fill up the entire no. thing. I mean, it's taking up most of the space for you. It's actually doing two things. It's taking up space, and it's also going to give us something to put our willow branches in. Now, we're obviously going to go all the way around with this, but for right now, we'll just do kind of the front. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, at the very top, you're going to want to put a little moss. But for right now, let's put one more piece of moss. I haven't really, that looks pretty good. Okay. And we're going to take the willow branch. They come wrapped with floral tape and a cord comes out up here, which is the nice. The lights are already in there. Okay. Because you can stick it in there. Just shove it down in there. Shove That's it down it. in there. Okay. I'm going to, it comes with a very long cord and a transformer. So oh, use very pretty. little electricity. Okay. And the cord's really long, so you can put it in another area. Then how do we disguise this? And then the we're going to go back and still add some more moss okay. around the top of it. And well, we'll fill it all the simple. way up that way. And of course, we'll do the back side eventually too. You just pull off little just pieces. Just pull off when the you pieces, and maybe you could even do another lemon in there. Just to even hold the it lemons up, could sit on top. They don't have to just lay it oh, at the bottom, or we can even do, you know, some more grapes, more grapes. on top. So this is the little brown one, which is kind of they nice come painted for every day. though in other colors. Mm -hmm. And I want to show what you did just before we finish mm -hmm, up. Sure. Uh, this is an idea for a wedding. Mm -hmm. This white willow branch that's already lit. All you've added is some little ribbons. Down at the bottom, decorated with geo mess, which yes. mesh, which is very easy to work with, in a pot. But the idea was, instead of a guest book for a wedding, mm -hmm. you have your guests come, fill out a little card with nice wishes, tie it to the tree. Later, the couple can keep the cards and then use this tree as a decoration. Yeah, you could either Pretty. redo the tree, take your bows and everything off and use it for a Christmas tree sure. or anything else, or leave it like it is if you have a, maybe a... a bathroom that you want a little corner that you want some more light but we did a little just a little jar with some some of the cards so that they could like put that. their blessing for the new couple all right you can find all these lighted willow branches in different mm -hmm. colors and shapes and sizes at D's they're on Shelbyville Road inside the waters and expressway their number is 896-6755 and we've got a link on our website fox41.com that'll get you more information if you have an idea they can help you make it happen